Hi, I'm Matt from Production Audio Video Technology Australia, and in this video we'd like to talk to you about the Clear One Beamforming Microphone Array. In our last video, we talked about more traditional conferencing microphone types, uh, such as goosenecks, a boundary type, and a ceiling microphone, and discussed that trying to get those microphones as close as possible to the talker is the way to achieve best audio quality. But we understand that it's not always possible to put a single microphone in front of every participant in a conference. So for those situations, Clear One have developed an array type of microphone uh, that's able to track each participant in a conference room and adjust its gain and microphone uh, coverage pattern uh, automatically and dynamically to best pick up each conference participant. The Clear One beamformer can be used in a number of configurations, uh, including ceiling mount, table mount, and wall mount. Um, but in this demonstration, we're using it as a ceiling mounted microphone. The beamforming array works by using the combined response of all 24 elements inside the array uh, and shaping a listening beam or a, a lobe um, in the direction of the talker in the conference. Uh, depending on the configuration used, up to six lobes are created from each microphone array. Uh, and in the ceiling mode where we're using it at the moment, it's using five lobes, uh, as you can see in the graphic. The big advantage of the beamformer is its ability to evenly pick up over a wide area but with the form factor of a single element. You can think of it as a number of directional microphones uh, inside that single element uh, that are all aimed in different directions and that can all be automatically and dynamically adjusted to achieve the best audio pickup uh, for a particular participant. So to demonstrate the evenness of the beamformer's coverage, I'm going to talk to you from a few different positions inside this room. Firstly, uh, from this seat, which is as close to the beamformer as I could possibly get. And then from this seat, at the back of the table, about as far away from the beamformer as I can get uh, while still being at the table. So hopefully you'll notice my voice is still fairly even and consistent and equal to me at the front. And finally, at the back of the room, I'm now about twice as far away from the beamformer as the guy at the front, and hopefully you'll still notice that my voice level is fairly consistent. If you watched our last microphone video, you may have noticed that the beamformer still picks up a bit more of the room noise and reflections than either the gooseneck or the boundary mic that we used. And that really is down to the fundamental physics, that is, the further away from the microphone you are, the more gain required and the more of the room noise that you will actually pick up. So, the beamformer won't really compete for quality with a gooseneck microphone stuck right in your face. But where aesthetics or practical considerations dictate, it will provide great audio coverage over a fairly wide area, all from a single element uh, that is sure to aesthetically please architects and designers, so they'll be much happier about having microphones placed in their conference room. So we hope you found this video helpful, and of course if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at our website at productionaudio.com.au.